Here's how old our electric grid is. It's been said that if Thomas Edison were to come back uh, from the dead and look over the electrical system that we have in the country, he'd be pretty familiar with what he sees. Companies like Converge are looking at ways to move us well beyond the electric distribution system that Edison patented in 1880 and onto a grid that is more cost effective, environmentally efficient, and in a word, smart. If you go outside your house and look at your electric meter now, it doesn't know when you use energy, it just knows how much total you use. A smart meter will not only know how much you used, but it'll know when you used it. And that's important because... The cost for electricity fluctuates quite a bit depending on time of year and how hot it is outside. Or even just the time of day. That means energy can go from costing mere cents per kilowatt hour at off-peak times to more than a dollar per kilowatt hour during peak hours. And the way our grid works now, we don't see those price changes. And that's by virtue of the way our rates are designed where they average all of those costs. What's going to happen in the future is the, the price will actually reflect the cost. So not only will consumers have access to these price fluctuations, but utility companies will be better able to provide and manage power production beyond just building more and more plants. The sizing of the electric grid would be like if you sized a church based on Christmas Eve. We kept building to that peak instead of the more prudent method of re just reducing the peak. With regulatory and conservation restrictions resulting in fewer power plants being built, more thought is being put into optimizing the ones we already have. HVAC is by far the largest energy user. So this is obviously the place to attack the problem to get the most bang for the buck. General Electric is just one of the companies developing appliances that would come equipped with technology to communicate directly with the smart grid, saving energy and money. GE's Martin Webb uses refrigerators as an example. One of the biggest energy consumers in a refrigerator is the defrost cycle. Most people, A, don't know when their freezer defrosts, and they frankly don't care. So at times of high pricing, we would delay the defrost cycle into a period of low pricing. But this isn't Big Brother. You can override the computer if you need your shirt washed right away or have to run the dishwasher before your dinner guests arrive. Converge is already working with utilities on smart grid pilot projects at various locations, and GE will begin selling its suite of smart appliances later this year. For Discovery Tech, I'm Jorge Ribas.